Have you ever woken up like in the middle of the night and just had a, the most random, most craziest idea ever? I have for sure. And just wanted to like note it down like really quickly. Like writing takes some time. Like you need to find a piece of paper and you need, like write it down. Notes and stuff. It's 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 gonna get cluttered, right? You want to write something down. Have it in a list, right? That you can like organize later on. Let's let's get straight into it. The way that I do this, I use a app to capture my ideas first and then use another app to basically organize those ideas. So the first one is Todoist. And I recently just tested it out. I installed it. I kind of did some research on it myself to see if it works, I guess. From what I see, I, it, I, I believe this is a really good thing and way to organize your ideas. So I have it here. If I click on it, it's, I mean, it immediately opens, right? I click on it, it opens. You can click on the plus button to add a whatever it is. So for example, make a video and then just send. That's it. And, and it's literally there in your inbox. Make a video. That's it. And then you just swipe out. Boom. Done. It's, it's that easy. Okay. Now, if you want to go a little bit more in depth uh, on how I do this, exactly how I structure it, here's how. First of all, if you install to -do uh, Todoist, you want to put it on your homepage somewhere. Wherever the first page is of your phone, put it on there. For me, it's on the bottom because it's, it's like the first thing you see when I open my phone. When you open up the app Todoist, you probably have like education and home and stuff. You, you can delete those and get rid of those because we're gonna use this app just to put in ideas whenever we have ideas, right? We click an idea, we click on a plus sign. Now, how do we make this slightly more structured without being too super chaotic and just like, oh, I'm gonna type something, I'm gonna put it in. Right, so you can actually add labels to your stuff. You have to go to settings, then settings, you go to, where is it? I'm so confused. If you go to uh, browse here, you can go to filters and labels. It should be the second thing. You can manage labels and you can add one. So for example, you want to say YouTube video ideas. You can set a color, I don't know, berry red, and then just click yes. So the thing is now, because you made a label, every time you make a task, like, oh, I can say like, I want to cooking a cooking video, for example right? You want to make a cooking video. You just write it down. So you go to the three dots, labels, and then click on the label that you made. So then it will appear on the task and then you send it. So what's going to happen now, it should label it with that idea. Check your inbox. Now you can see cooking video, YouTube video ideas. Like you can see it that it's labeled that in that single color. So it kind of helps you structure structure your stuff, whatever uh, things you need to do. Like, oh, this is gonna be part of this. This is gonna be a meeting. This is gonna be a thing where I go out to party. Like you can do a lot of things with this. So I wanna target this to all of you like high school students, college students maybe, because sometimes you have so much things to do and we can just immediately just input it here set a quick label if needed, and then we can process into other apps. If you want the actual, um, if you want the actual really like good like to-do list app and like can plan like in a day and like, you know, have a really premium feature. I have a different video. This one right here that I just made about Memorigi. That's great for, for very to-do list, but this is how you capture ideas. Right, now to the next one, how to organize your ideas. Now, like I said before, Memorigi is very great for to-do lists in a way, but more structured to-do lists, or you can use Notion as well. I haven't used Notion that much just yet to give you guys enough information on it, but what I can say, it's really good for me to like write down stuff and like put my ideas down or whatever I need to do there. I mean, there's a lot of tutorials and stuff online about Notion and like how to structure stuff. I'll make one myself later on once I studied it more. For now, that's what I can tell you guys to use Notion. It's a great app. Use that to structure it. Uh, use Todoist to capture your ideas and then use Notion to basically sort and organize your ideas. That's kind of it. Simple video. Again, that that's that's all it needs to be. Now, also, an extra thing. If you guys saw me do this, if this is the first time watching this, and you see like all oh, doing this and then I can swipe out and stuff like that. For Android users spe uh, specifically, I think for Samsung users, there's a way to change your navigation bar so you can just swipe to exit apps and like navigate really fluidly. If you guys wanna know how to do that, you can just check my video uh, that I will link down below. That was my second video that I just mentioned. 
that will explain in the the bonus section just so just scroll through the video go to the bonus section i will explain there how to like change up your navigation bar really quickly i hope you guys found value in this video if you did amazing stick around for more because i am planning to do more videos in the future i'll see you guys around cheers